It's true. I think I'm here. Yeah. So <laughs> what's going on everyone? Here again with the Tassos. What's up? We're doing some antenna things because my horn is bigger than yours. Well, I don't know. I, I so. want to know which one of you guys have the bigger horn because you're both bragging. So. Well, his his horns are up there and they're little. See him? But, but that's my horn's down, down there. there. So you're, you win today. Right now, as you guys all know, uh, this is my current dish and it's getting replaced with <sighs> big horn. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were going to move poles. We were going to put it up there, but that's not going to work right now. So we're going to stick with my little ratchet strap wonder and uh, <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll make it work. We'll upgrade his pole later on. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs an upgraded. We moved from over here to over here where Tassos is doing his best rocket launcher impression. <laughs> we did that because we want to be able to try to get the angle on those trees over there, on, on those palm trees. There's little gaps in them, and from where we were, it wasn't quite, I mean, it was good, but we wanted to see if we could get a little different angle on it. What's it up to now? Yeah. So it's at 66 right now with him holding it like that, which is better than we had when we started with that one. <laughs> it's time to take down old Bessie. Alrighty. Here we go. Yeah, GPS puck. Yep. Cool. Out with the old and busted, in with the new hotness. And remember, remember, fucking put it the other way around. Flip the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me shit too. I know. I know. I, I I've learned. Exactly. On my computer. <laughs> and I even said as I was doing that, yeah. I bet people are yelling at their computer right now. And don't forget the anti seize. Anti seize. Uh, there we go. <laughs> bend over. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look with that. You're gonna strip you're it. Gonna, yeah, you're going to strip it. Leave it. Now look. Look, look, it's so sexy, I love power. Oh, look at it, you just gotta be, you gotta be delicate with it sometimes though. See, you just gotta, you just gotta ease it in. Ease it in. It'd be better with some anti-seize. Ease it in. <laughs> I got a 1,800 foot pound impact in the back this, of the car. But... This isn't Tasso approved installation, by the way. <laughs> yeah. He's been forewarned. Yep. That one's wanting to cross there. Yeah, it's wanting to go in crooked and I'm not gonna let it. I might, warned you. I think it might just be sticky. Well, I didn't do anything with it. It's wanting me to, but I ain't gonna do it. It's just chewy. Really I don't like it. it. It's not super hard, it's just chewy. It's just got some, a bit more uh, to it than I really like. Those all went in fine. So take it out of here and try using the other ones. Yeah. If it's just not the bolt. It's just not happy in that hole. Yeah. <laughs> go, go to your home. See, that one's all schmooey too. Is uh, that the new bolt? It's, yeah, yeah it's, it's not the bolt. It's, it's just that. It's just that hole. Because this one will go in just fine. Yeah. Just have to try so, it. Yep. We can. We can just make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, put it way up there, man. Huh? Put it way up there. Yeah. Oh, so it's his favorite. Ah! Okay, here we go. Here's the... Oh, 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 it's a tight fit. Oh! She's new, she's new. I know, not no mo. <laughs> and on that note, cut. So, after you get your mount put up, installed, after you, you know, coerce it, get your twist port adapter, like that way. Like that. And then you hang this bad boy up here. Voila! That's pretty much it. We gotta tighten some bolts up there, but yeah. Wobbly is. Oh yeah, it's all weeble wobble all over the damn place right now, but I'm just gonna hand tighten this bad boy right here. You got a ratchet strap. Failure, failure. Yeah, it came unhooked. <laughs> Those are for alignment, right? You, you... Absolutely. You, you, Kind of one side for left. I need three clicks on the left. 
that's up and rolling and there we go. No. Check if it's loose enough to rotate even though you have it hand tied. It's loose that way? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nope, we're good. So now we can start aiming again. So I gotta log into this once more. So it what? Get out of the way of it. <laughs> This is a thousand times easier to aim, by the way. Look at that, look at that. I touch it and it connects. It's such a better way. Huh? And now that I'm not standing in front of it. Yeah, you not standing in front of it does help a lot. Because with it just finger tight, you can just kind of move it around super easy. What the hell? Oh, thank you. That's, uh, that's where we started off, so. Yeah, and it's right between those palm trees. Now, that being said, the relay house is still pointed over there. So this is pointed here, that one's pointed like this. So it's not gonna be as good as it can get from here regardless. Oh, the glorious sound of that. Ugh. So we're gonna aim it a little bit and then head over there. I'll catch up with you in a second. So the handy dandy GPS pocket. Flip the cover off, and there you have the GPS connector. Take your SMA and connect it. Hand tight's good enough. You can put your little thingy back on if you want. And then you just go around. Around. Make sure you go underneath the clips. Down and around. And back up. Underneath the thing. Underneath the thing. And it just slides inside. Ta-da! Yeah, I like it. We got it up and running. We went from the old dish over there and with six DBI less gain, we went from a negative 75 all the way down to, or up to rather, negative 63, 65. That is a huge improvement. And that's without even having the other side aimed. The other side is still aimed over here. So just swapping out this for that made that much of a difference at that much less gain. That is very, very impressive. So we're at the relay house and we moved the dish from over in the corner where it was. Look back at my past videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Over here where it doesn't have the wall in its way and uh, just kind of aimed it in the general direction and it's pulling, what, negative 57, is that what you said? Yeah, negative 56. <laughs> so we went from a 78 to a 56 with one ultra horn and a little bit of aiming. That's amazing. And this, it's pulling the, what did you say? How much down and up? 125 down. 125 down and 44 up. And 44 up. So I'm getting almost the same throughput on the backbone now at 20 megahertz frequency instead of the 50 that I was at before. <laughs> That's crazy with 6 dBi less gain as well. So, yeah, that's awesome. A little bit of gunfire, nothing wrong with that, you know? <laughs> God. Levine, I swear. All right, so Ultra Horn is up and aimed. We are rock solid as far as reception goes. We got all the way down to negative 59, negative 60 as far as signal per chain goes, but it's not modulating the way it should be and we're not real sure why. Um, I'm actually going to get in touch with Ubiquity and be like, you know, yo, why isn't your shit working? Because it even shows on here, it should be at about 8x on each. It, it has like an underline of what it's expecting, but it's showing. You can see the green underline on 8x, but you can see it's not doing that at all. It's 4x on this side and 6 sometimes on that side. So that's not working the way it should, and that means your speeds, my speeds, the speeds, are kind of 
somewhat craptastic. The horns and the aiming, so much better. I mean, the reception across the link is, I mean, it even says link is good now. Sometimes it even says excellent link sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes it even says excellent link. Why it's not doing the data speeds that it should, we're not real sure. So we got to look into that. But overall, day is a great success. How does, what is that, that weird guy? Great success. Yeah. I like. <laughs> yeah. Great success. I like. <laughs> but on that note, we're out. It's been a long ass day and it's starting to get kind of cold out. So cold ish. So we're going to probably head to the bar, go party it up a little bit. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sure Ken and Tassos and Dave and John and everybody, you know, they'd, they'd say later, but they ain't around. So deuces.